realize there's 17,500 employees at the Labor Department. What do these people do? I challenge you to justify all those jobs. Even worse, they get regulations into the system. It's not even passed by Congress that kills jobs. I mean, it needs to be stopped. Let me give you just one example. You know what a franchise is. Franchises are one of the great American ways for people to become successful, to just enjoy their entrepreneurial spirit, uh, hire people, and grow economically. There are 825,000 franchises in the United States, hiring about 20 million people and have pumped about $2 trillion into our economy. I mean, that's what it's about. Even better, 20% of franchise owners are minorities. I mean, we talk all the time about raising the living standards of African Americans and Hispanics. Well, franchises do it because many of those people are entrepreneurs. Let me tell you about a regulation that was just came through the Labor Department last year. It's called the Joint Employer, and it deals with franchises. And you realize you have a corporation, let's say Jimmy John's. I looked into that personally a few years ago. You want to be a restaurant owner, so you work out a deal with Jimmy John's, and they give you their marketing, they give you the plan, and you go in, execute it. If you're successful, maybe you can open up several restaurants, but you are the complete owner. They're yours. Well, the Joint Employer Regulation puts liability on the corporate side for the franchise's employees. I mean, to me, it's just absurd. I think it's very obvious, no matter whether you're on the right or left side of this issue, you have to agree that by putting more liability on the corporate side, it's going to be more difficult to get a franchise. I mean, there's going to be greater processes, more scrutiny, and it's going to reduce the number of businesses. It's going to reduce the number of employees. It's going to take money out of the economy and it's going to hurt minorities. Yet it's been done. Now, I will have to admit, in all honesty, you will create some jobs with a law or a regulation like this. Certainly you're going to need more than 17,500 Labor Department employees to be able to regulate this new rule. And of course, you're going to have to have a lot more attorneys because now they have a whole new rule that they can sue corporations on. Unbelievable. That's how government kills jobs. The current Labor Department secretary is Thomas Perez. Sure, he's a fine guy. That's who Obama wanted. And of course, you may have heard about the new guy coming in under Trump, Andrew Posner, and they're going to really object to that. He's the CEO of a fast food chain. Um, in the country, Hardee's and Carl's Jr. I got to tell you, Perez, his background is a politician and a civil rights attorney. Of course, Puzder is a businessman. So who would you rather have over a labor department? A person who has used corporations to hire thousands of people or a person who is gifted in suing corporations for all they're worth? I think you know what my answer to that question is. Labor department. What are you doing, man? Killing jobs.